In this video, we provide the solution to question number 25 from the practice final exam for math 1060, in which case we have to solve the equation four cosine theta minus three secant theta equals zero. And we're gonna do this in radians, um, only find the solutions from zero to two pi, where zero actually is included in that. So notice I have different trigonometric functions here, cosine and secant. If I wanna solve this one, I, I would love it to be the same trigonometric function. Now I notice that secant, of course, is just one over cosine. So you're gonna get four cosine theta minus three over cosine theta is equal to zero, like so. So now it's just cosine, which is great, but I wanna solve this equation. It's gonna be hard to do if cosine's in the denominator. So I need to times both sides of the equation by cosine theta. So we're gonna clear the denominators. The nice thing about the right-hand side being zero is when you times by cosine, it's still zero. So on the right-hand side, you get zero. On the left-hand side, this is where you have to be careful, you're gonna distribute this cosine onto each piece. You get cosine times four cosine, which is four cosine squared. And then you're gonna get negative three over cosine times cosine. Those cosines would cancel out and you end up with just a negative three, like so. Solving for cosine, uh, we're gonna add three to both sides. This gives us four cosine squared theta equals three. Divide both sides by four. Uh, so we end up with cosine squared theta is equal to three fourths. And now take the square root of both sides. Now notice when you take the square root, you have to consider positive and negative. There's two possibilities there. So we get cosine theta is equal to plus or minus the square root of three over four. Now this is probably not the one you're used to. Uh, we really should think of it as the square root of three over the square root of four, which the square root of four is two. So plus or minus square root of three over two. Aha, you're probably familiar with that ratio. So when is cosine equal to root three over two? We're doing this in radians, remember? So in the first quadrant, uh, well, I mean, this is actually, uh, so cosine is positive in the first and fourth quadrant, but it's negative in the second and third quadrant. So it turns out we're gonna grab all of them. Um, in the first quadrant, this would be 30 degrees, or in other words, pi sixth, like so. In the second quadrant, this would occur at five pi sixth. In the third quadrant, this happens at seven pi sixth. And in the fourth quadrant, you end up with 11 pi sixth. And so that's what, those would give you the four solutions to this trigonometric equation.